Hey you beautiful people, how's it going and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be sharing 8 tips from basic to advanced to help you with your Path of Exile experience. Remember if you liked the video feel free to hit that sub button to support your boy and let's get to it. First up guys we have change your ascendancy. Now you may think this is obvious if you already knew this, however you'd be surprised the amount of people I've actually told this to in game that had no idea at all. Now all you have to do is run the normal labyrinth and then once you've reached the ascendancy chamber you just simply reset all of your ascendancy nodes which cost 5 regret orbs each and then you touch the altar of ascendancy. You should then be given an option to change your ascendancy, nice and easy, no more making new characters. Next up guys is beast crafting higher tier modifiers. So this is an advanced crafting method used by the best of the best crafters in Path of Exile and it's very commonly used for mirror tier items. So most recently you would see the 12 link weapon of Scourge League. So beast crafts go off of the beast item level when crafting which basically means you can roll higher tier modifiers on lower item levels which is extremely useful for blocking higher tier modifiers after you finish that step of your craft. Next up guys we have turning a rare into a magic item. Now this is commonly used as well for mirror tier items. You can return an item from its rare state to magic maintaining one modifier which will then allow you to imprint it. All you have to do to do this guys is make sure there's only one modifier on the item and then you craft either prefixes cannot be changed or suffixes cannot be changed and then you scour it. And just like magic it's back to magic. Alright guys, if you have excess maps, you can upgrade them by one tier by trading three of the same map to a vendor. So this is particularly useful in the early stages of the league when you're trying to progress your atlas, but this can also be done with corrupted maps to create a non-corrupted higher tier map later on. So if you're running some NEM3 where you're getting loads of corrupted maps that are useless, you can just upgrade them into a higher tier one for free. Okay guys, next up is do not brick your syndicate setup. So you may think this is obvious, however I guarantee if you did not play Betrayal League or you're just a newer player in general, you probably missed this option. So, if you have two options that both suck, you can actually set the prisoner free which will reset his potential options for the next encounter and still maintain your board how you see fit. This is extremely useful for keeping Ashling in research as well as Verici and stuff like that. All you have to do is click this little button down here in the bottom right and you will be able to set your guy free no problems. Control click your passives guys. Okay so this next one is just a micro efficiency. You probably see a lot of streamers do it. Basically control clicking your passives will instantly allocate them instead of having to click apply which is a cool time effective tip. Okay guys, so this next one is about bulk buying and selling. So if you've ever wanted to get into bulk buying or selling, you may not know how to actually do it. There is actually a guide on the POE website, which I found very early on, which was very, very useful to me. If you just come over to the trade website over here and you click this little about button over here, it actually has a guide on how to write out the lines so you can sell in bulk or buy in bulk. And it also has a tag of every single tradable item in the game. So you can just note it down straight away from here. No more Google searching. And it's, yeah, it's absolutely brilliant, guys. Check it out if you want to bulk buy or sell. Level up gems in your secondary inventory slot, guys. This is our final tip of the video. You may already know this, but I guarantee there's players out there who don't. So if you come into the game and you click this little two button up here, this will open your secondary inventory. And in here, you can equip a weapon with six sockets and just socket some gems in here. As you play the game, they will level up passively. This is super, super good for solo southbound if you're trying to get a level 21 gem, where you can just level up six of your own gem and then try to corrupt one at the end and see how you do. This is also an easy, easy way to make make additional profit for doing absolutely nothing other than playing the game. So you can start out with six sockets over here and then if you manage to get a Maloney's Mechanism Ornate Quiver you will have an additional three sockets with a bow allowing you to level up nine total gems which is absolutely awesome. If you're going to be leveling up things like Empower, Enhance and Enlighten you can get one with the Katarina modifier plus two level of socketed support gems with quality of socketed support gems and then you can also craft on Haku's um, craft which is quality to socketed gems with Enhance, Empower and Enlighten the quality on them increases the amount of XP gained so this is an excellent excellent strategy to make additional money if you're just running things like Simulacrums or Five Ways things that give you generally high XP um, with huge mob density this is awesome to do and you should definitely definitely try to incorporate this into your gameplay in the future. Okay guys, that's it from me today. I hope I was able to teach you something new. If not, there's always next time. If you want to find your way back to the channel, don't forget to hit that sub button. I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care guys. Goodbye.